What's happening around the world? It's time for another serving of news bites. 最近国内外发生哪些大事？午餐搭配 ISRT News Bites， 慢慢的一口接一口，吸收最新时事和趣闻。Hi there, and welcome to a new episode of News Bites. I'm Nancy Sun, and I'm Hope Go. In today's news, building better schools, building short escalators, and eating pomelos—all that and more coming up next. Top of Taiwan. Taichung 学校获得二零二二年国家卓越建设奖 Taichung Schools win Building Excellence Award. Six schools in Taichung won awards. The awards are given out in a competition. Be say, the competition is held by a business group that deals with land and buildings. To win the award, a building must be beautiful. It should also be safe. The Taichung City Government chose the six schools to enter the competition. Four schools won gold. One won the special prize, and one school won the prize for excellence. Taichung 市六所校园参加建筑工程竞赛，得到四座金质奖、一座特别奖和一座优质奖。Judges looked at how the design of the school could help people. They also looked at how the design allowed for environmental awareness, 提升对自然与大环境的认识与意识 They also looked at how the design helped students and teachers interact, 互动 The Taichung City Government says schools are very important. They want to make sure schools are safe. Officials say it is especially important to make sure the buildings are stable, 稳固 during earthquakes. So they helped many schools rebuild old school buildings. Going global. 全世界最短的手扶梯 Where in the world is the world's shortest escalator? Nowadays, escalators are everywhere. We use them to easily go up and down different floors. There are lots of escalators in places like shopping malls, department stores, and transportation hubs. Zhuan Yun Zhongxin. Sometimes the escalators are very long. Some even help us travel three or four stories at once. 一次一口气 But have you ever wondered how short is the world's shortest escalator? 这个全世界最短的手扶梯到底有多短 Believe it or not, there really is a record for the shortest escalator in the world. This escalator is just five steps high. It's eighty-three point four centimeters tall. That's just a little bit higher than your desk. This escalator is in Japan, at Kanagawa train station. It really only helps a person travel five steps. The whole ride only takes about eight seconds. It's even in the Guinness Book of World Records, 金氏世界纪录 as the current record holder for the world's shortest escalator. The escalator is now a tourist attraction. Many people come from other countries to see the shortest escalator in the world. Today's feature. 吃柚子要注意的事情 Remember this when eating pomelos. We just enjoyed Mid-Autumn Festival. There are many traditions for this fall festival. Most people would have experienced at least one. Maybe you had a barbecue with friends and family, or maybe you had a few mooncakes. One thing is certain. There must be a few pomelos lying around your house. 
This yummy citrus fruit, 柑橘类水果 is a very common fruit that is enjoyed during Mid-Autumn Festival. Many people may give them as gifts. They are delicious and full of vitamins. We coming. But if you are eating pomelos, there are some things you should remember. Pomelos should not be eaten with some medicines. 有在吃药的人要注意，柚子与某些药物并用，有可能增加药物发生不良反应的几率。Doctors say if a person eats pomelos too close to the time they take these medicines, they might start feeling ill. They could get cramps, choking, or sore muscles. And in very serious cases, mixing pomelos and some medicines could hurt other parts of your body. So pomelos are a delicious and healthy fruit. But if you take medication, check with your doctor to make sure it's safe for you to eat. The recap. So, in today's news bites, six schools in Taichung won awards for being beautiful and safe. The Taichung city government says schools are very important. It says it is planning to help rebuild another hundred and three school buildings. How short is the world's shortest escalator? It's just five steps high. The escalator is in Japan at Kanagawa train station. And pomelos are a delicious and healthy fruit, but pomelos should not be eaten with some medicines. If you take medication, check with your doctor to make sure it's safe for you to eat. And that's today's episode of News Bites. This week, we want you to have your say about being a space explorer. Going out into space is a dream for many people. The idea of going to other planets might seem really exciting to some people, but it might seem scary and dangerous to others. If you were asked to volunteer to go out into space and explore another planet, would you go? Record your message and send it to Newsbites, N E W S B I T E S at i c r t dot com dot t w with your name and age, and if you'd like the name of your school. Make sure to send us your recording by Thursday at noon, and you might hear your message on our show on Friday. ICRT 与教育部国民及学前教育署下次继续和您聊新闻。ICRT app 和网站也能重复收听。More local and international news next time on News Bites, brought to you by the K-12 Education Administration. Find past episodes available on the ICRT website and app. <laughs>